Spirit of the Outdoors. Today we fixing to pour off this fire cider. I've had several people ask, you know, they're keeping up with it along how it's doing. I, it's hard to really say because it's just sitting in this jar occupying time really. So what I have got right here is two uh, quart mason jars and then I've got a funnel right here and I have got some cheesecloth. So all I'm going to do is simply strain this off. I mean, it's uh, it's nothing nothing special to it at all. We just going to pop this off. So I'm going to bring the camera in a little close and let you watch as I pour this and and somewhat strain it over into here. Okay, so I'm going to try to keep these jars in in frame where you can see what is going on. Oh. I'm sure I'm going to wind up making a mess with this before it's said and done. Because it looks like with that, everything wants to go. So I'm just dumping a lot of that that's trying to come out in there is like sage and stuff off the top. I just don't want the whole cheesecloth to drop off down in there. Okay. I don't have a lid out here with me. I'm going to have to go get a lid. And we will most do let me dump this cheesecloth out while I'm between. Because you see it is catching up a whole bunch of that sage mostly in there. And rosemary, I reckon. I really, somebody asked me the other day what all I had in it. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, I'll have to about go back and watch a video. I can't even remember. I do have that. I shared a link in there. That is steadily sliding off down in there. Nothing can ever be easy, can it? What did I say if it was easy, everybody do it? Yep. Tell you what, I might be better off if, if I'd done it like this. I believe that's gonna work better. some of this off out here. <clears throat> so what I'm doing basically y'all off camera is just dumping this cheesecloth out. I'm fixing to just do it like this because there's a little bit in there. We want to get it all. Now, I'm not going to go through the process of trying to squeeze it and, and all the stuff in there and extract everything out of it that I can. 
we'll get what's in this cheesecloth, but and you can see there's still a good bit of juice in there, so we got to get all of that out. You just got to keep working with it. We're going to be just about right. So, obviously, everybody's going to want to know how it tastes. So, I mean, I ain't one to disappoint you none. So, let's see. This is actually better than the last I made. I must admit, it actually has a good flavor. Well, let me go get two jar lids to put on that. So I went and got me two lids right here to put on this. So we'll... And y'all, I will store this in my refrigerator. Now, I do not know if it is shelf stable. I'm going to assume that it is most likely is. Um, I've got a couple of reasons why I'm going to store it in the refrigerator. Number one is I want to drink it. It's going to be better cold, uh, in my opinion anyway. It is vinegar, so it should not spoil. Should not is the key word. Um, so I'm probably going to take all of this that is left over. And I don't know if my camera is focusing good. I'm using my DSLR, and I can't really. The screen's very small on it. So you can see all the stuff is in there. If you're not sure what was in here, Go back and watch the video of us making it. I'll try to link it at the end of this video just in case. So this is going to be one of them little short videos on what we're doing here. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. This is us bottling up our fire cider. Uh, just, I had a lot of people asking how it was doing. So we've got it bottled up and I'll probably let it go longer than the 30 days it needed. Did not hurt nothing. Uh, is not bad strong now you can see one jar is a lot darker than the other so what will happen is both of them will settle and clear a lot because they my other jar that i did before done that so thank y'all for watching spirit of the outdoors remember the best way to do things is the way you like to do it we'll see y'all y'all have a good one
all that out of there. That's the Alright. <laughs> Somebody played a joke on us, didn't they? Oh. Hey, somebody play a joke on us. Yeah. <laughs> somebody like come on and say, what happened there? <laughs> Yo, somebody was having a little fun. They they was having hay rides this weekend around here, so. Uh, <laughs> it's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. Look, look at that. What, what's Nanny got right over there? What's that trough thing? Feed the squirrels. Yeah. 